So um, we're going to be dealing with a very a continuing our, our conversation on confrontation and I, I believe that um, is a very important conversation. Amen? Um, and so we must understand that conflicts are inevitable but the way we manage them good evening sister crystalline the, the way that we manage them is so important as a child of god amen and so we're just gonna we're gonna be continuing our conversation tonight but just before we do that um you know it's, it's our prayer meeting where we minister to the lord and so i just want you to put one thing in the comments that you're thankful for and then you know we'll continue amen I just want to read out about two or three. Uh, Sister Christine said, I'm thankful for God's continued grace in my life. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. There's a song that um there's a song that Kevin Navarre sang. I find to be so powerful Adi said I'm thankful that my family and friends are healthy amen it's a song that is I find very powerful it's a song that I've been listening to a lot in this season you know and um, even while we're dealing with confrontation and we're dealing with Christian conduct it's a song I want you to listen to to this song the, 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 the title of it is just like you you know and um our, our, our desire in life is to be just like him amen the way he deals with people we ought to deal with people amen so let's worship God with this song as we wait for some more to come on I wanna be Cindy said, I'm thankful for life. Sister Jessica said, I would like to thank God for his timing. Amen. Amen. Perfect timing. God has. I want to be just like you. This, this ought to be every believer's prayer. Lord, I want to be just like you. I want to be just like you. Good evening, brother San Saber. So good to see you. Good evening to, to my, my good friend Nikki Chapman. Amen. So glad to have you. So glad that you would visit. Amen. Just like you. Come on, is that your prayer tonight? Hallelujah. to Melissa
encourage you to share the life. Amen. Share the life. Let's let's have the conversation. Share the life. Amen. Share the life. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a lot of church. A lot of our church members. So share the life. Let's begin. Let's begin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, right where you are. Can we just begin to worship Him? My sister Annette says, um, I'm thanking God for His mercies and grace. Amen, sister. Come on, let's just prepare our hearts for what God is about to do in our lives. Amen. Let's prepare our heart. One of the important things we discovered is the importance of posture. You know, as it relates to our walk with God, as it relates to having an encounter with God. We must have a posture ready. Amen. And so one of the signs that you, 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 as I said before, one of the, 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 the signs that you um, acknowledge greatness is when you, you change your posture. Amen. And so whenever a dignitary walks in a room, whenever you, you, you go to the court um, for jury duties, I would hope. <laughs> but when you go to court and, um, and the, the, the judge walks in, he, they say, all rise. And so they're, they're a change of posture, acknowledge that greatness, you're in the presence of greatness. Amen. And so it, it's, it's important as believers for us to, un for us to understand that when we, 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 we are in the presence of God, we acknowledge it by changing our posture. Ha, ah, hallelujah. Come on, let's just change our posture this morning, this, this evening. A posture is not just a, a change of body position, but it's also a change of heart. Amen? Hallelujah. David said, when the Lord said, when you said, seek my face, my heart said, your face, Lord, will I seek. Hallelujah. So Lord, we there's one word that comes to mind thinking about you. And the word is faithful. Faithful. You're such a faithful God. Hallelujah. You're such a faithful God. You're such a faithful God. Oh, you're such a faithful God. Church has he been faithful to you. Come on, let's just acknowledge him this evening. Is such a faithful God. Oh, may you find us faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful is our God. You're faithful this evening. And so, Lord, we acknowledge your greatness. We acknowledge the fact, we acknowledge, Lord, that you are faithful. Your word declares, even if even when we are faithless, you remain faithful. Because you cannot deny yourself. You're a faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. Faithful. 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 Faithful God. You're a faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're faithful this evening. You're faithful this evening, Lord. You're faithful. You're faithful, faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that's all we say for the evening, Lord, let, let's just let's just acknowledge his faithfulness. Come on, just say it, just say it. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Get it in your spirit, Lord. You're faithful. Hallelujah. When we are faithless, you remain faithful. You're a faithful God. Hallelujah. You keep your promises, you keep your word. Oh, you're not a man that you should lie. You're the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, Lord, we know that we can take it to the bank because you're faithful. 
Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you're faithful, we don't have to wait for you to do it to praise you. We praise you in advance because you're faithful. We, we, we praise you in advance because you're faithful. We worship because you're faithful. We don't wait for you to do anything. Even if you never do anything at all in our lives again, you remain faithful. You're a faithful God tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus, you're faithful. Faithful. And so God, we bless your name this evening. We bless your name this evening, Lord. We bless your name. 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 Come on, church. Let's bless his name. We bless your name. Oh, we minister to the King of Kings tonight. We minister. We love on our God tonight. You're faithful. Hallelujah. 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 We join with the angels tonight and we cry holy. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you now. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I pray that we that you will find us faithful. Uh, God, I pray that Lord you will you will you will find us to be faithful. Even in uncertain, even these in these uncertain times, may you find us faithful to the Lord. This Behold, when the Son of Man come, will he find faith on the earth? I pray that we will be found faithful. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Lord, our goal is not to be, not to be famous. Our goal is not to be popular, but our goal, our goal is to be found faithful. Our goal, Lord, is not even to be anointed, but our goal is to be faithful. For at the end of the day, you will say, well done, good and faithful servant. And so, Lord, we pray that we, we, you find us faithful. Hey, come on, church. I pray that you would find us faithful. Forgive us, Lord, for faithlessness. Forgive us. Oh God, for not being as faithful as we ought to be. Forgive us for not being faithful in prayer. Forgive us for not being faithful in studying your word. Forgive us, Lord, when we may have not been faithful to you. We repent as a people. Uh, we repent as a people and we change our posture. We change our position. We change our hearts tonight. Change us by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's just tarry a few more minutes in the presence of our King. Our hallelujah belongs to you. Hey. So Lord, visit every home right now. Visit every 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 car right now. Visit every room. Turn our houses into sanctuaries. In the name of Jesus, for before God speaks, the Holy Ghost moves. Before you do anything, Lord, the Holy Ghost moves. And so, Lord, we pray for a moving of the Holy Ghost tonight. Let the Holy Ghost speak. For we don't want religion. We don't want service as usual, Lord. But we want God to speak. And so, Lord, we, we humble ourselves tonight. And so, Lord, we open our hands and our hearts wide. 
change us wash us visit our conduct Lord visit our lifestyles and begin to address and confront the areas in our lives that is not of you let there be a divine confrontation tonight in the name of Jesus for we want to be changed and we want to be men and women after God's own heart so we thank you tonight in Jesus name in Jesus name Amen Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Church is so faithful Amen He's a faithful God He's a faithful God He's a faithful God that 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 you know that just that word alone came in my spirit as I was praying faithful He's faithful Amen. If you if you don't have anything to eat, just know that he's faithful. Amen. He is faithful. He's a faithful God. I want I want to just encourage you that God is your source. You know, even even while I'm praying, I was sensing that that there are some people, some stuff are running. There's running a little low. You know, uh, money maybe running a little low. Groceries maybe running a little low. I just want to remind you. And I want to let you know. I want to let you know that God is your source. And so there are some people, even if you got cut back on your jobs, even if you, you're not getting the amount of money you, you would normally get, God is your source. And so what, what, what may have been uh, subtracted in one area, because he's your source, what may have been subtracted in one area may be multiplied in another area. God is your source. Church, I want to let you know that God is your source. Amen. And so, we've been on the, uh, 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 on the study. I just want to get into the word of God. We've, we've just been on, having a conversation on Christian conduct. Alright? And so, we've been dealing with confrontation. And um, uh, uh, we, we, I want to continue where I, I left off last week. Um, you know, last week we would have ended on David, and I want to begin on David. You know, because I believe that David is a, 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 a he is the prime example of what a man after God's own heart ought to be. A man or woman after God's own heart must must have that kind of spirit. You know, and so we've been on the, the, the topic of confrontation, and we looked last week. On the fact that um, Paul told the Galatians church, he said, "You that are spiritual, uh, restore them in the spirit of of, of, of of meekness." And so, if you didn't you you didn't get that, uh, or you didn't see that that um, study, I it is on our page, all right. And so, I want you to go back to our page and and, and look at that if you didn't see it. Amen. And so, I just want to continue. Um, with the, the, the topic of confrontation and so last week we looked at confronting a believer um, but what about confronting a backslider amen and so uh, this week uh, we're going to be looking at not just a backslider but a leader confronting a backslidden leader amen and so because um, I want you to understand that backsliding what we consider backsliding is someone who left the church when backsliding or back being backslidden in the scripture is someone who left God there's a difference because you can be in church and leave God amen I, you see I, I, I feel like preaching already you, you can be in church it is possible to be in church and not be in Christ amen Amen. And so if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Not if any man be in church, but if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And so we must understand that when we're talking about backsliding or backslidden, uh, we're not just talking about someone who, who go on back and party. That, that, you know, <laughs> that, that is, at that point, that is not backslidden. That is, you're a child of the world. 
backslidden in the true context is someone who is in the position all right someone who is in the position or in the place but their heart is not there <laughs> so we uh, my god my god my god my god uh, amen and so uh, when we're looking at, at, at uh, being backslidden we must understand that it is not a le uh, leaving the location amen but it's leaving the destination it's leaving the destiny it's leaving God amen and so you can be in the location and leave God so you can be in a position all right and still be backslidden so we're going to be looking at that and so I'm going to be looking at first Samuel and chapter 24 and I, I want us to look at this it is I believe it's a powerful 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 um, portion of scripture all right first Samuel chapter 24 all right I'm gonna be reading from the NIV all right um, and um, now I, I really want to read the entire chapter all right um, so pray for me because I feel like as though the whole chapter is just loaded with so much gems you know I just I want to read it quickly all right um, first Samuel chapter 24 when found say amen first Samuel chapter 24 When found, say amen. I want to see that somebody find it. I see a like, so I'm, 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 I'm assuming that that is amen. All right, First Samuel chapter twenty-four. And and church, uh, let me tell you why I believe and I, I I feel in my spirit so strongly that this is so crucial. The study that we're doing is so crucial. I believe because we have. And as I shared last week, there is something, there's some things in God that you will not get by prayer and fasting. Yeah, I, I want you to understand that. And, and so um, tonight, um, the topic or the title for tonight, uh, let me read first and then I'll give you the title. All right. Right. So I see a couple of amens. Okay. First Samuel chapter 24. Here's what it says. After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he was told David is in the desert of El Gedi. So Saul took 3,000 young men, right? 3,000 able young men from all Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the craig of the wild goats. Verse 3. He came to the sheep, pen, sheep pens along the way. A cave was there, and Saul went into the cave to relieve himself. David and his men were far back in the cave. So here it is. Um, Saul is on his way to kill David. All right? He's on his way to kill David. And so they, they decided, okay, we're kind of tired. It's kind of late. So let me, uh, let us go into the cave to get the rest. Little did Saul know that he went into the exact cave that David was in. Alright, so this is depicted. This is the scene here. Alright. Alright, so David and his men were back in the cave. The men said, so this is the guys, the, 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 the pair, David's colleagues or the men who were with him. Here's what they said to David. This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, my, 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 this is getting, it's getting so powerful already. He said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with him as you wish. Then David crept up unannounced and cut off the corner of Saul's robe. After what David was conscious stricken for he for having cut off the corner of his robe. He said to his men, the Lord forbid 
that I should do such a thing to my master the Lord's anointed or lay my hand on him for he is anointed of the Lord with these words David sharply rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul and Saul left the cage the crate the cave and went his way then David went out of the cave and called out to Saul my Lord the king when Saul looked behind him David bowed down and prostrate prostrated himself with his face to the ground he said to Saul why do you listen to, the, to your men when they say David is bent on harming you I want to stop right there all right I want to stop right there. I want to stop at verse 9 all right and so I, I, I want to title tonight or this evening's uh, study or conversation as it relates to confrontation there's a code all right there's a code that I believe that God loves to see is a code that I believe um, uh, God is looking at in order to promote you in the future and that code is the honor code all right the code the code is honor honor so we're gonna be looking at the place of honor in confrontation all right honor in confrontation so father in the name of jesus we pray that you breathe upon us tonight change some some something that you want to change change it we surrender to you in jesus name amen amen and so last week i i would have i would have looked at the fact that um the way home how god's dealt with uh david all right and so david now um having had a moment of, of, of weakness or a moment of sin all right and i want you to understand that that sin when david committed adultery and and murdered her uh Bathsheba's wife uh Bathsheba, sorry husband i want you to understand that that sin is worthy of death all right that what what what, what david did was worthy of death all right and so it is very important to understand that because I, I, I looked at that and I'm seeing I, I say but Lord I mean I understand that you're a gracious God but how you know that that was worthy of that David was supposed to die that day and so you understand now that and, and I felt like the Lord lead me back to this uh, portion of scripture and I realized that the way how David treated Saul all right the way david treated saul is the way god treated david so because david honored saul all right david honored because david honored saul in his moment of of of, of, of weakness or could we even say backslidden moment because david honored saul in that moment god honored david in his backslidden moment and in it in his weak moment and so I want us to understand and, and look at, at conflict um, and, and at confrontation. And I want us to really understand that there is a code that I believe that we ought to deal with. And especially in this generation that is, I believe, I believe is very dishonorable or, or very dishonoring. All right. We, we, we don't. We, we have not uh, truly captured the revelation of honor, I believe. And, and I want you to understand that in study, one of the things I notice about the word honor is the word honor and glory has the same Greek roots. Right? The word honor and the word glory has the same uh, uh, Greek root. And so you cannot have one without the other. And so, so if you, uh, let me put it this way. The Bible said that Jesus went to his hometown and, and he, he began to teach. And the Bible said the people of that town said, is this not the carpenter's son? Is this not, you know, uh, this, this is not his father a carpenter? And, and we know his mother and his brethren. Where, where did he get all of this uh, wisdom? 
you know and the bible said something so powerful said something so profound that jesus did no mighty miracles the one version one one account said he could not do any mighty miracles in that city because of their unbelief or because of their dishonor and so because you, you, you must understand that honor and glory or power has the same group so in, in the, the same roots and so you cannot have one without the other and so if you must have if you have honor all right you will you will receive or you will have glory all right so you must understand that so um i find that so powerful because i i really looked at the life of david and in fact the the what we see the, there's a state there's a saying that we uh a statement that we would make right what would jesus do all right wwjd what would jesus do i want you to understand that in the old testament in in, in the culture of that day um they would have WWDD. What would David do? And so David was so uh, Christ like before Christ even came, but he was so full of the Holy Spirit. And he was so, he had such a, 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 a lifestyle of, 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 of God that they, they, they would pattern or they would, they would use David as a reference. So, and so you would, they would look at the Psalms and say, What would David do? Um, when faced with, with 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 an enemy, what would David do when faced with trouble, or what would David do when faced, you know? And so, there are three things that I believe David honored in in Saul, and I want you to understand that Saul is appointed in a position, and David is anointed for that position. And and, and, and let me tell you why I feel that this. Uh, this text, I, I feel like the Lord laid this on my heart. Um, I got the, the, the three points, right? I, 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 in meditation, I got the three points in my spirit before I even get the text. And so when I started reading the text and studying the text, I saw the three points in the text. And so I, I feel as though there are some people, you are here tonight, all right? This is the word of the Lord. I feel like some people are here tonight and you have a boss. You have a boss that is giving you a very hard time so you're here I, I believe that you're here but and you have a boy you're a believer and you have a boss who's giving you a very very hard time and so I, I i feel as though the lord laid this message on my heart for you in particular all right it may be a few of you maybe one but i believe that there's somebody who you have a boss all right and your your your, your boss is treating you very unfairly and and your your you're constantly in conflict you know you're constantly in in battle you're constantly and so this is i uh, saw uh, saul was that kind of a, a a boss all right now saul as i said was appointed david was anointed all right and they are and this is the the, the, the spirit and this is a backslidden spirit a backslidden spirit is very jealous is a, is a jealous spirit it's it, it is very jealous because david is anointed for saul's position all right and so saul now he's in, in the though, though saul is in the position and the next thing we're going to be studying let me put that plug in right there let me put that free advert advertisement um the next c that we'll be studying we study confrontation the next c we're going to be studying is um comparison comparison because i believe that god's people i for the lord say um deliver the people deliver my people um from the spirit of comparison and and so you you would see that in this text as well but we're not going to deal with that right now and so david here is in a place where he's running from saul all right he's running from saul three things this is three things I want us to consider uh, when dealing with confrontation and three things I want us to really um, give honor to, all right? First thing I want us to give honor to is the office, all right? In confrontation, honor the office, all right? Honor the office, honor the office. What does that mean? It means that 
Saul is in the position of king that David will in the future uh, enter into. Now, I want you to understand something about honor. Um, the word honor, it means to make a deposit. <laughs> the word honor means to make a deposit. So like when you honor, you make a deposit. Into So whatever you honor, you make a deposit into that. And so, uh, let, me, let me put it this way. Uh, the Bible said, he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. So, so when you make a, when you honor, all right, a, a prophet or a righteous man in the name of a righteous man, when because you make a deposit, you can now make a withdrawal. Because you made a deposit, you can make a withdrawal. And so, mo because honor and power, honor and glory, is it goes hand in hand. And so, if you honor, God releases the glory. If you honor God, release really secure. So whatever you honor, all right, you will receive. Or you. So if you honor something, you drink from it. Glory to God. So when. So by honoring it, right, you can now receive from it. And the reason why we are may not be receiving the power of God as we ought to is because I believe we have not walked in proper honor. Amen. And so. In order to really let, let me let me give you, I would always make this reference. Look at this. I want you to catch this, right? Catch, catch, catch this. Um, the woman with the issue of blood, right? Remember her. All the other people who were walking with Jesus, the Bible said they were throng in Jesus. They would it was like a stampede. They were touching, they were they were, you know, pushing on him. All of them, they were just bombarding Jesus, right? Now, this is Jesus who is God in flesh, right? The word became flesh. He's God in flesh, walking. And everyone is just bombarding him. Look at the difference with honor. This woman believed that Jesus is so powerful. She believed that he's God for real. You know, there are some people, they, 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 they like to be entertained, right? And so they, 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 they like the idea of walking with Jesus. But this woman actually wanted to receive from Jesus. And so she, she said within herself, remember we spoke about what? Honor makes a deposit, right? While everyone else is touching Jesus and, and all, you know, touching his very frame, this woman said, he is so God that I wouldn't i don't need to touch his body to get something i just want to touch the hem of his garment oh, she look you see where she on where she plays her she, she placed such an honor on jesus such a high regard for the power of god that she said in his very board in the border of his clothes i believe that there is power so she placed honor. She, 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 she gave Jesus so much honor that she said, listen, I don't need to touch him. I just need to touch something that is touching him. Oh, Jesus. And the Bible said that when she, when she touched the border of his garment, she was made well. Why? Because she made a deposit and now she can make a withdrawal hallelujah so 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 that is the that is the concept and the power of honor and so that so in even in confrontation i want us to understand that david if david dishonored the office then he would not be qualified to walk into it look at it. so in confrontation david had to on he honored the office all right so though this man he, he may have been he, he he's doing me wrong i understand that but because he is the boss or because he is the leader or because he is the the, the pastor because whatever he is because he is you know in this position i honor the position by honoring him hallelujah hallelujah and so i want us to look at that because we need to have this conversation here's why david is anointed all right he's uh, there's no doubt david is anointed in fact um when 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 god when when samuel went to anoint soil saul he he anointed him with a vial right and a vial is like uh, is a type or a symbol of, of judgment 
and so, but David was anointed with ram's horn. He was anointed for real. All right, and so he did not let his anointing. David did not let his anointing carry him away to dishonor the office. And so one of the ways that we, we really give honor to God is when we honor the office. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I see something today. All right. Um, now, in our society, in our world today, uh, we are so dishonorable in, 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 in sometimes in the way that we do things. And I'm talking about the world system now. I'm not talking about the body, right? Um, that, um, you know, there are celebrities right and sometimes when celebrities you have scandals all right people uh, build youtube pages right they actually have a youtube page all right to 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 somewhat uh, uh bash or you know speak about the this the, the celebrity and the scandal right and they they, they build a following around that the sad thing and I've noticed this recently. There is this the same thing that the world has. I see now that uh, uh, it is coming to the body of Christ in that uh, there are people who make YouTube pages, all right, to somewhat rebuke, uh, you know, whatever scandal or whatever it is that happening in the kingdom. Let me tell you something. Be it far from you. Amen be it far from you as a church no, I, I believe that God is not in it I, I believe that he does not want us really to be you know in that why because when you do that you dishonor the office you dishonor the office and so we must be in such a place where we, we, we live a life of honor amen we must live a life that is honorable to God we must not really get ourselves into, into places or positions whereby we just dishonor uh, 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 people, what we, we need to understand, even in confrontation, is that we are in the army of the Lord, right? We say that, we sing that. Great. I want you to understand that in every army or in the army, the army is is run by ranks, right? It is run by ranks, and so I remember I spent some time in the cadet force, and I wondered, Lord, why why I spend time in the cadet force? I, I felt like it did nothing to me, right? But when I got saved, I began to understand, and I began, became a preacher. I began to understand just how vital it was to my uh, destiny, because there's a lot of things that I learned in the cadet force. And one of the things that I learned in the cadet force is that there's a saying that they say, "Comply and then complain." Comply and then complain. And so, you, you, we must understand that in the army of the Lord, there's ranks. All right, and you must honor and paul told timothy he said let's listen to me he said timothy rebuke not an elder but entreat them as a father and so now you must understand that though you may be anointed timothy though you may be anointed you must honor the office amen and so when you honor the office you 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 say to god listen i honor this office and so god god will say listen you're qualified all right so because whatever you honor you can you can receive from amen church am i, am I are you hearing me whatever you honor you receive from and so it's important for us really as a as a body of christ to really honor one another let's honor one another amen and so he david anoint david honored the office of of, of, of saul and so though saul was backslidden though Saul was in a place where he was uh he, he was you know he was just far from God David understood that listen I'm a, though I'm anointed for this position and one of the things about about honor is that I I looked at this text and I looked at the fact that David's friends told him listen listen to this so Saul came into the, the cave. Saul is in the cave. David is in the back of Saul. At any point, David could have ended Saul. At any point. All right? At any point, David could have ended Saul. Now, so David's men said to, to David, Boy, you know, just, just in our local language, right? 
David's men said, boy, God really with you, boy. Listen, you, you listen, you, 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 you listen, boy. God is with you because uh, this is, God told you that he will give his en your enemies into your hands for, for you to do whatever you want. And so, 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 so God gave David, an, he's, he's given David a test now. And so he, he, he tests David. And so I believe that there are people here and you have, you have a manager or supervisor, you know, and, and they are, they are over you. All right. And, and I, I feel it so strongly in my spirit and they are, they are, they are somewhat giving you such a hard time and you're, you're about to get an opportunity. Listen to this. I don't know who it is for, but you're about to get an opportunity or you're about to get a test all right you may see it as an opportunity but god is saying it's a test amen and so uh, you must be so favored by god for god to tell you beforehand and so maybe you're in that right now i want you to understand that though it could it is available allow honor to determine your your behavior so in, 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 in the way that we in the way that we deal with confrontation, we must ask ourselves, is this honoring God? Is this what I'm doing here? The way that I'm dealing with this situation, is this honoring God? Is this is this an honor to God? Is it is it that God will look at this and say, Wow, 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 wow. That is my child. Jesus puts it this way. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I want you to understand that Christianity is not just a preaching and teaching and, and, and whatever we do in church. That's great. But I want you to understand that real Christianity starts in the way we deal with people. Our, 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 our walk with God and our life our life in God is really determined by the way we deal with people. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. David, he honored the office. He honored the office. He said, "This is my leader. This is my this is my manager. This is my supervisor. What, what you know? They they may be treating me badly, but I respect the office. And because when you respect the office, you're giving God." your application form for that office Jesus, i feel that when you respect the office you are giving god your application form for that office why because you're showing god that if you put me in this position i intend to honor your name in this position so david was anointed for that king's position all right but then now he's showing god the reason why he is qualified for this position is because of how he deals with the person in the position hallelujah hallelujah in other words let me tell you something in other words if you can if you bad talk in your company right listen to this in other words i hear this in the spirit amen if you bad talk in the company don't expect to be the manager all right the, <laughs> If you are bad talking the company that you're working for, don't expect God to make you the manager of that company. Why? Because you are dishonoring the position. So when you honor, amen sister, when you honor, when you honor, when you show honor, you are, you're saying to God, listen, I intend to honor your name in this position. I, I remember, <laughs> I remember, um, um, when I was working, well, I'm still working at, you know, where I'm working now. But um, I remember in a, in a position before, I, I came in at the entry level position. Listen to this. I came in at the, uh, Dr. Helen, it's so good to see you. And, and congratulations. I, I'm now seeing you, sister. Congratulations. God bless you on your, your, your doctoral. Amen. Completion. Amen. God bless you. Uh, when I was, um, I was in an uh, entry level position, and my job right and I mean listen church 
the salary was it was small, right? Let's just let's just say it was it was it was not it was it was you know it was small. And I remember uh, my colleagues, you know, my colleagues and they I remember they every day, <laughs> you know, there are people that every day they bad talk in the job. Every day, every listen, every God's living day, they bad talk in the job. They just bad talk in it and how much you know how 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 inhumane you know and, and and you know just how you know how they wicked you know and um there was a point when they wanted to strike this i'm just saying this as a as a as a form of testimony right i remember they wanted to strike and they striked at a particular day and i did not strike on that day I remember that so clearly I did not strike and so while everyone else was striking and I, again I'm not saying this I'm only saying this as a form of testimony while everybody was striking um, I did not strike I, now I don't have to tell you the heavy persecution I received all right but I remember saying Lord regardless of how 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 small or how big however it may be regardless of the salary I believe that you gave me this job uh, there are many people who don't have a job and so I, I, I refuse to, 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 to fly in your face and so I remember saying that and um, a few weeks later a, a higher position became available and I applied for that position and I remember my manager at the time while he's signing off on, on, on the form as a recommendation for the position he said to me I watched I, I, I eyed you differently since the day you, you reacted differently since the day you did not strike I eyed you differently because I see that you care for the, for the job that you have and so it's on this that I'm giving you that recommendation and folks I got the promotion why because you honor when you honor you can make a you can make a withdrawal because I honor you because you honor you make a deposit and then you can make a withdrawal amen and so David honored the office second thing he honored he honored the oil David honored the oil he said this is the Lord's anointed this this man is anointed by God I how can I how can I confront this man like this and this man is anointed no 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 he, oh, he honored what the oil listen church I believe we must we must reach a place in confrontation but we, one of the things we must understand if this person is anointed by God then I ought to respect the anointing of God on their life and so there I, I, I see sometimes that we we, we 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 you know we find ourselves in a place whereby we just you know you know how how to put this we find ourselves sometimes in a place whereby believers are fighting believers all right good evening brother Chrissy. it's good to see you just passing through all right i'm glad to see you brother i, I we, 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 we we you know and, and we must understand that we, we we must honor the oil on David said listen this man you see this man this man is anointed by God how can I touch the Lord's anointed the Bible said that when David went and cut off the the, the, the very the very end of uh, Saul's robe the Bible said that God convicted David he didn't kill Saul but he just cut off the, the end of his robe Church, listen, even if you're in a position whereby the, the, the manager or the supervisor or the leader is giving you a hard time and, 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 and you see an opportunity to really, really deal with them, you see an opportunity to really, you know, I want to let you know, don't take it. Why? Because it's dishonorable. Honor the oil. Church, 
honor the oil, honor the oil. Just say that, honor the oil, honor the oil. So when you honor the oil, you can receive from it. I, 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 you see, I'm just building up to something, right? I'm just building up to something. So just stay with me. Stay with me in my little Sunday school lesson. Just stay with me. You honor the, honor the oil, honor the oil, honor the oil. Honor the oil, honor the oil. Honor the oil, honor the oil. And so this, these are the two things, two things, right? Two things you see so far that David, that David put honor on. The Bible said that when David confronted Saul, Let's continue reading. When David confronted Saul, I want to I want you to see this here. When David confronted Saul, that's in the verse. Let's see verse um all right, verse 14. Here's what verse 14 said. Against whom has the king of Israel come out? Who are you pursuing? A dead dog, a flea? May the Lord be a judge between me and you. So David now is he's speaking to Saul. And he's saying, Who you come out to? You, 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 how, can, how can you as the king come out to, you know, to, 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 to kill? Who you come to kill? A dog? Are you, I'm, you're seeing that I have, I have an opportunity to kill you. I have an opportunity to get rid of you. And I didn't take it. This is what David is telling Saul. All right? And the Bible said that Saul told David something. And this is what I want you to understand. Saul told David something. And this is my message right here. He told David this in, in, in verse... Let's go down to verse... Hallelujah. Alright. Let's go down to verse 17. Here's what Saul said. You are more righteous than me. Oh my God. This is the... So you see, you see, David, because David honored Saul, here's what this on here's what this backsliding backslidden leader is telling David. This backslidden leader is telling David, you are more righteous than me. Why? Because God delivered me into your hands, and you did good to me rather than evil. He said, Listen to me, you, you're a righteous man. Church, I want you to understand that when you honor, when you show honor in confrontation, you come out as the true victor. The, the, the goal of confrontation is not to win an argument. The goal of confrontation is to win a soul. The goal of confrontation is not to, to, to prove your point. The goal of, con of confrontation is to make the person point to Jesus. Amen. And so, so, so David now is saying, he, Saul is telling David, listen, you are more righteous than I. And he see, here's what, here's, what, here's what he said. He made a statement so, so powerful. So, so powerful. And look at the statement in, he made in, let's continue reading, right? He said, you, verse 17, he said, you are more righteous than I. He said, you have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. You have just now told me about the good you did to me. The Lord delivered me into your hand, but you did not kill me. When a man finds his enemy, does he let him get away? Unharmed? May the Lord reward you. <laughs> May the Lord reward you well for the way you treated me today. Church, when you, when you show honor and confrontation, the backslider blesses you. Look, I, my God, I, you see that? I feel like my church gone. When you show, when you show honor, in, in, in confrontation, the backslider blesses you. Here's what Saul said to him. He said, there's a statement I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and I, and I may run with this statement, all right? Here's what, here's what Saul is saying in verse 20. Now I know that you will surely be king. 
Wait, wait. Oh my God. So, this Saul is telling David in verse 20. He said, No, he said, Listen, because of how you treat me, you are the man who's supposed to be king. My God, my God, my God. In other words, he treated David, uh, Saul, uh, David treated Saul so honorably that Saul ended up blessing David for the position that he wanted to kill him for oh my god my look 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 listen church listen church i want to let you know for the for the, 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 the few of you who have this problem with your leader you have a problem uh with your manager whoever it may be i want you to understand that when you deal honorably they will give you the recommendation my god when you deal honorably with your manager they will be the one who fill out your re your recommendation form when you deal honorably with your supervisor they would be the one who saying this man is this man is the man for the job this woman is the woman for the job when you show honor i'm telling you that the people who once wanted to kill you are the same people who will turn around and say you're the man for this job my god church i i end right there so he showed honor to the office he showed honor to the to the uh, oil but he also showed honor to the offspring he showed honor now um, you know sometimes when people have a problem with somebody they take out the problem even on the children not David David the Bible said the, Saul told David he said listen to me just just do my favor I, when you become king hallelujah 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 I, I, just before this i wanted to kill you because you're taking my position but after i see the way you dealt with me i am saying to you you're the man for this job hallelujah listen after I, I i wanted to destroy you because you're you're a threat to my kingdom or you're a threat to my position but because i saw how the, the way you dealt with me i understand that you're not a threat but you're a benefit you're the man hallelujah you're the best you listen to me i want you to understand church listen the way that you deal with people in, in in confrontation the way that you show honor when you show honor what you're doing you're putting you're telling god i am qualified hallelujah 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 and so because david was showing god listen i i i i i, I i'm qualified for this position because i show honor god is saying through a backslider you are the right man for this job church i rest my case may the lord bless you and keep you uh, because i i want to go because i feel like i want to preach again so i our time is up but i want to i, I want to let you know god bless you may i believe that there is a lot that we need that we, we can tap into if we have a spirit of honor i believe that there's positions that god wants us to fill and the positions are occupied by people um, who will give us a hard time but i want you to understand that if you continue to remain humble if you continue to remain in a position of honor i want to let you know that that position will be yours i i speak it i prophesy it in jesus name honor your manager why because one day you will be the manager honor your supervisor because one day you could fill that position honor the ceo because one day you could fill that position honor your pastor mm -mm -mm -mm. honor your leaders honor 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 show honor why because you're making a deposit when you're making a deposit and you show honor you're telling god listen lord this is my application form if ever you need somebody for this position this is how I will treat people in this position. God bless you. And, and I want to just remind you, all right, that um, a Sunday, by God's grace, <laughs> my sister said, I wish you would finish this word. Uh, yes, yeah, sister, I, I believe I finish. I believe I finish. I believe I finish. I, I will probably uh, share more on it uh, next week, please, God. But I, 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 just, I just felt it so strongly. You know that we really need to, to, to show honor in confrontation david had millions of opportunities i'm saying millions he had so much opportunities to destroy Saul. but david said i will not i will not do it i will not do it i will not do it and so later on in life you see now when david is in this position and he has made a mistake god showed david the same honor 
that he showed to Saul. Listen, church, I, I want to let you know that when you honor, God brings it back around to you. When you honor, he brings it back around to you. And so I, I, I see some, I saw someone said, do, us, do unto others as you was having to do unto you. Amen. Because when you show honor, God will bring back that honor through someone else. And so the same way David bowed his head before Saul is the same way Nathan bowed his head before David when he came to rebuke him. The same way David dealt gently with Saul is the same way Nathan dealt, dealt gently with David. And church, I want us to understand that honor is the key to power. Amen? So God bless you. Um, we're going to be um, Sunday, please God, by God's grace. I want you to invite mothers. Listen to me. Sunday is Mother's Day. I believe there's a word from the Lord for mothers. And so I want us just to invite Oh yeah, the third point, sister, is honor the offspring. He honored David, honored um, Saul's offspring. And so I was saying that um, sometimes when you have a problem with the parents or you have a problem with the, the person, sometimes we, we, we take, sometimes we, we, <laughs> sometimes we carry the, the fight straight to the children. Amen? And so um, David honored um, Saul's very offspring. He honored his children. And so even after Saul, Saul passed, David showed kindness to Saul's children. And so it's a powerful, I believe it's a powerful concept that we need to understand that when we, when, when, when just because sometimes you may have a problem with somebody, that don't mean that you need to have a problem with the children. Amen? And so David showed honor uh, to Saul by honoring Saul's offspring. Amen? And so, God bless you. Um, Sunday's communion. All right, we're going to be having communion, but I want you to invite mothers, invite mothers who, uh, you know, maybe um, somewhat heartbroken, maybe because their children may not have gone the way that they want. I want you to invite mothers, mothers like that. I want you to just invite mothers because God has a word for mothers. Amen on Sunday. So I want you to invite mothers. All right. God bless you. Um, God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May God bless you and fill you with his peace. God bless you. Have a great evening, everyone. Just remember to remember, to remember, to remember, remember the honor code. All right? Remember the honor code. In confrontation, just remember the honor code. Honor the office. Honor the, the oil. Honor the offspring. Amen? God bless you. Have a great weekend, everyone.